Amber, Phoebe, Bishmer, Danish Fur, Devin, and Roderick for now. Hi guys, how are you? I'm actually having his dinner right now. It's like the afternoon for you, but for us it's dinner. I can't hear you very clearly. Can you repeat that for Good me, Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Roderick. My brother is actually taking his dinner right now, so we might actually like come back like after a few minutes. That's okay. Not to worry. Thank you for letting me know. How are you? Well, I am fine. What about you? Did you, you have dinner? I'm good, yes, sweetie. Thank you. You had a dinner. Okay, cool. Nice. Awesome. Roderick, how are you doing? Um, oh my I'm cat. Fine it's okay, thank you. <laughs> Roderick, sorry, sweetie, how are you? I'm fine. Good, what did you do? Today? Yeah, today. Today, I <laughs> read some book and nice. play some games. Perfect, how about homework? I done it all. You've done it all. Perfect. Good. Lovely to hear that. Hi, Amber. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. What did you do today, sweetie? Um, nothing special. Nothing special. So just like pretty much every day. Yes. Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, yes. Hi, how are you? Fine. Fine. What did you do today? Oh, Judy, I couldn't hear that. Sorry, one second. Can you repeat that for me, please? Play some games. Okay, well, that's good. Did you have fun playing games? Yeah, cool. Awesome. All right. Let's say hi to Yo Yo. Hi, Yo Yo. Mary, sweetie, just one second. I need to say hi to every student. Hi, yo, yo. Okay. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. What did you What did you mm. do today? Mm, I go to school. Um, you went to school. Cool. Yeah. Um, Anything else? Um. Uh, no. no, that's it. Okay, cool. Hi, Phoebe. How are you? Hi, uh, I'm fine. What did you do today? Nothing special. Too. Nothing special, just as every day? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, sweetie, perfect. Thank you. Yes, Bishmer, you can ask me now. What's the weather over there? Just ask it's kind of, it's cloudy. It's still not raining, but I think it will rain because it's a bit like dark outside. So probably it will rain. How is the weather in your place? Mm -hmm. How is the weather there? Oh, okay. I heard you. So it's going to become stormy. I think. Yeah, okay, that's good. All right, guys, perfect. Well, today we have another class. Um, let me just double check. One, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so next week we're not going to have a class because it will be the fifth week. So you know when we have the fifth week in a month, we don't have a class, okay? Just to let you know about that. Apart from that, now let's see what are we gonna do today? Well. Today, we're going to talk about future. Let me just share my screen with you. We are going to ask questions about the future. And we're going to talk about dreams and goals. And what is the difference between dreams and goals? We're going to have some exercises. We're going to watch some videos. And then we're going to create some stories. Okay, does that sound fun? Yeah? Okay, now first, Let's start with asking questions about the future. So, for example, I want you to think about a question you can ask that is related to the future. For example, I can ask a question like this. 
What would you like to be when you grow up? Now, this is a question about the future, right? Because you're still, hold on, let me just make a different color. Uh, yeah, that one. No, let me ask um, Amber, what would you like to be when you grow up? I would like to be a scientist. Scientist, why? I really love science and experience and make and doing experience. I mean, experiments. Making experiments, good. Okay, does that make you happy? Yes. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Now, Spiri, can you try and make a question for Phoebe? But try to make it something that it's related about the future. You can ask whatever you want to. What is your goal when you grow up? Mm -hmm. What is your goal when you grow up? Okay, I already did one more time. What is your goal when you grow up? So what is your goal? But let's let's restructure the, the question. What is your goal? We can say for the future. So what is your goal for the future? Phoebe, what is your goal for the future? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You haven't thought about it? Maybe you haven't thought about it? You don't know what you want to be in the future, what you want to do, what you want to achieve. You don't know that? Uh, I want to be a teacher. You would like to be a teacher. Okay, good. What kind of teacher? A school teacher. A school teacher. Awesome. Good job. Now, Phoebe, can you make a question for Devin, please, by something related about the future? Hmm? Phoebe, can you make a question, please? What kind of car do you want to buy in the future? Okay, what kind of car would you like to buy in the future? So, Devin, what kind of car would you like to buy in the future? I would like to buy a Sport car. Sports car, okay. Why would you like to buy a sports car? Because it's nice and fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right. Now, Devin, can you make a question for Bishmer, please? What is your dream job? What is your dream job? Bishmir, what is your dream job? Do you have a dream job? I do have one. My dream job is to become a scientist so I can explore and learn things that I might even figure out some stuff that scientists never, you know, figured out. Being a scientist is just very, very exciting. But just put it to that. Okay, cool. All right, that's good. Uh, can you make a question for Roderick, please? Teacher? Can you make a question for Roderick? Oh, sure. Thank you. Hmm. What 
are you going to do in the future? What are you going to do in the future? Uh, sorry, can you repeat it again? Wait for What are you going to do in the future? What I'm going to do in my future is... To be a lawyer. Okay. Why would you like to be a lawyer? Because I want to... I want to put, uh, I want to put the bad people inside jail. First, really, you wanna do what? I'm gonna put. <laughs> Wait first. Actually, my line is not really good. Hello, anybody can hear yes, me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Why I want to be a lawyer because because why I want to help the people so that they never so no one can lie to the poor people. Uh huh. So you want to help them? I want to help them. Okay. That's good. That's not bad at all. Well done. Perfect. Mrs. Natasha? Yes, sweetie? Sorry, I come late because I'm taking dinner. That's okay, sweetie. Are you done with your dinner? What, Mrs. Natasha? Did you finish your dinner? Yes, I just finished right now. Good. Awesome. And how are you today? I am fine. I just play good. playground. I just go to playground. Good. And you played some some with your friends or by yourself? Well, uh, uh, with our cousin. And it was super fun. We were playing tag and red light, green light. Okay, but let's uh, let's allow Jennifer to answer that question. Why are you doing? Don't tell him. He needs to say it himself. So what should I do now, Mrs. Natasha? Can you make me a question about the future, but you need to ask Yo-Yo that question. Okay. Yo-Yo, the question is, what's your plan in future? What's your plan for the future, okay? Yes, what's your plan for the future? Um, my plan future. Um, mm. Do you have a plan for the future or you don't? Mm. That's a yes. Mm, no. No, you don't have plans for the future. Mm, yes. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, guys. Awesome job. Now, let me just change my page. We're going to the next one. So now I have some questions about you. Does the future exist? Remember, this question is for you. Yes. Yes. How do you know that it exists? Um, because people will grow up. Okay. That's the only thing? That's why you think that future exists? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Somebody else has a different opinion, guys? No. No? Bishmir, what do you think? I can't hear you, sweetie. I think there is a problem with your internet. I can't hear you very well. I'm so sorry. B 
Ishmir, do you want to try again? No? Okay, that's fine. Um, Rick, what do you think? Do you think that the future exists? Yes. Yes? How do you know? Why do you think so? Because... Why? Okay. I don't have any answer. You don't have any answer. You just know that it exists. <laughs> Yes. Okay. All right. Devin, the second question is for you. Does time exist? Yes. How do you know? Because we got a calendar. Aha, uh -huh. we got a calendar. We also have watches. This is okay. Mrs. Natasha. Yes, Jennifer. Uh we have watch to we have watch. We have clock to see the time. Yeah, if we can see the time, but who do you think that invented the time? How did the time became reality? I don't know, Mrs. Natasha. That's okay. Anyone, guys, has an opinion about this question? Nope. All right. Okay. Phoebe, you want to answer number three? Tomorrow. <laughs> so the future happens tomorrow. Yeah. And you think it happens after two seconds? Yeah. Yeah. So it happens after one second. After one two seconds. seconds. Two seconds, one minute. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, uh, Bishmir, what does the future mean? What does the future mean? The future is basically um after a while that is the future. The future is like after like one second, two seconds, tomorrow, next year. Okay. You know what I mean. So it happens after some period of time, is that so? It doesn't happen right away, but it happens after a second or a minute. Yes? Okay. Now, the next question I'm asking all of you. And if you know the answer or if you have an opinion, just raise your hand, please. Are we able to predict the future? What do you think? Are we able to predict the future? What, nobody knows? Can I try? Yes, go ahead, Fidi. No, I don't think so. We can't. Why not? Um, because uh, all things will change. What things will change? Yeah. Sorry, Fidi, I didn't get that. What things will change? All things will change. Uh -huh. Okay. Anyone else, guys, think something else? <laughs> I'm still thinking. <laughs> You're still thinking. Okay. And what do you think? Do you think that you can predict the future? Can on, Mrs. Natasha. Hold on. I, I asked Amber. Amber? No. No. Why not? We don't know what will happen. 
we don't know. But okay, that's fair enough. But guys, have you heard about people that they can tell you the truth? They're called fortune teller. So either they can uh, they can see your future in a cup of coffee, or maybe they can take your palm and read your palm. Do you think they're actually telling something? I don't really believe it. No, why not? Because only God can see our future. Ah, only God can see the future. Yes. Okay, so, Roderick, another question for you. If you believe that God can see our future, does that mean that our future is already predicted that somebody made a plan for our future or we create our future? I think God is, pre is God and our future. Hold on, Jennifer. That's the question for Roderick. Roderick? Roderick. Can teacher repeat it again? Okay, so do you think that our future is already predicted by God or we can create our future? For well, human, we cannot... Uh, we cannot create, create our future by our, but maybe God already planned it for our. God already planned for us. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Okay. All right, good. Um, Jennifer, what did you wanted to say, sweetie? Mm, I just say God will be, uh, God was planning our future. God is planning our future. Yes. So what he wants is going to happen for us. Yes. Yes. And we do nothing. We just go to sleep. No. no. Like there sometimes we do, we plan for our future. Sometimes we, what we want for to our be. Future. Okay. All right. Interesting. Good. How about the rest of you guys? What do you believe? Nobody has an opinion? Bishwar, do you have an opinion about this question? Well, I don't have fortune tellers. Okay, we're not talking about fortune tellers. We're talking about general opinion. Do you believe that, uh, that our future is already predicted? Or I don't, I don't, I don't. You don't believe that? I think if we just like can be changed with just a single move or just a single change in our life, and well, bam, your your uh, future has already changed. Okay, that's interesting. Good. Anyone else wants to share their opinion? No. No, that's it. We're done. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, cool. Now, I want to share with you a video. I just want you to watch it, and then we're going to talk about it. Oops, sorry. Okay, let me just change my screen. Here it is. So this is a trailer from a film or a movie called Goal. And it's about 2 minutes and 21 seconds, and it also has seven questions. So when I call your name, you can open the microphone and tell me the answer. But in the meanwhile, we're just gonna watch it, okay? So let's see what this video is about. In the city of dreams. Santiago. Roderick. Dreams. Dreams. Yes. Okay, Janish, that was a question for Audrey. Guys, can you please, when you hear your name, open your microphone, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. 
Santiago, what are you doing? Santiago Munez had a day job and a night job. Hey, boss, I've been at Bosboy now for six months. Why can't I be a waiter? This Chinese. Okay, the second one is for uh, Devin. Let's make a sentence with the correct order. Why can't I be a waiter? Mm -hmm. Why can't I be a waiter? Cool, thank you. This Chinese restaurant, you're not Chinese. Quiet! But every other moment, he lived for the game. He's quite a player. Okay, the next one is for Phoebe. He is, he is quite a player. Thank you. What's your name, son? Santiago Munoz. If you get yourself to England, Newcastle United will give you a trial. That's a big club. Very big club. It's okay to have dreams, son, but people like us have to work for a living. There's always plan B. We win the lottery. Now, for his family. You deserve this chance, Santiago. Take it. He'll pursue a dream 6,000 miles from home. I have a tryout for Newcastle United. Okay, um, Amber? Tryout. Tryout. You want to lay off the black pudding? What is it exactly? You don't want to know. This spring, he's jet lagged, nervous. He's never seen mud before. Maybe you don't have the stamina for the English game. Okay, the next one is for uh, Bishma. Stamina. Stamina. Okay. For the English game. Adios, and there you go. I'll be better tomorrow, I promise. It's not going to be it. Okay, what does he promise, Jennifer? I don't know, Mrs. Natasha. Okay, Sorry. There you go. I'll be better tomorrow, I promise. It's not gonna be I will back I will be back tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. He'll be better tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna go. Not gonna be here tomorrow, Santiago. He's grown up in poverty and hardship, and his only way out is his skill with the ball. Monez, just wanted to see what it felt like to be in this field. You think you deserve it? I know I do. From Touchstone Pictures. It is now quite a day for this young man. One man's extraordinary journey. Okay, let's match them. This young yo-yo. Uh, -yo. uh this young man. Yep. And this is uh extraordinary. Uh 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 B journey and quite a day hey, hey cool that's my son that's my boy santiago is about to begin kuno becker goal the dream begins this spring okay so why is this movie called Goal? The dream begins. Why does it called like that? I know. Okay, you want to share with us? Yeah, because this movie is mostly based on football. So they named it Goal. And he also put the dream begins because he is living in the town of dream. Am I correct? No. Guys, do you think he's correct? <laughs> okay, let's ask some questions about this. First, guys, 
Tell me, what is the difference between dreams and goals? What is the difference? Is there any difference? Yes. What's the difference? Pictures of goals, like what you want to do. Goals are basically like markers, like marks, like on what you want to do when you grow up. Like what you want to do now, what you want to do tomorrow, what you want to do next year, all that. All right, good. Uh, Roderick, you wanted to say something? What do you think? Uh, no. No? You don't want to say anything? Phoebe, what do you think? Uh, I think dreams is something that we want to do, but uh, maybe we can't do. But goal is we must do. A goal is something we must do. Okay. Amber, what do you think, Sweetie? What's the difference between dreams and dreams goals? Dreams are something that we think, but goals are something that you want to achieve. Perfect. That was a very good explanation. So guys, when we have dreams and goals, dreams is something, for example, like daydreaming. You sit like this and you're thinking, oh, I dream about going to Japan, for example. But do I do something about it? No, I do nothing. I just dream. About, I just think about Japan. Now, when it comes to goal, goal is when you Sorry, guys, that was the ambulance, so I needed to mute my microphone. So when we talk about goals, we talk about something that we want to achieve in the future. We actually work for it. For example, my goal is to become a, a doctor. Now, what do I do to become a doctor? I study, I go to university, I read books about medicine, I learn all the parts in the body. I work towards that. So when you work towards something, it becomes a goal. But when you just think about something and you do nothing, then it's a dream. Now, what is better for us to have? Is it a dream or a goal? Goal. Goals. Goals. Definitely. <laughs> of course, it is much, much better to have goals because this is something that we want to work on, something that we want to achieve. And, you know, goals can be a long term because we're focusing on them and we just want to uh, become a better person or we just want to learn something new. All right. Cool. Awesome. Now, let's have the first question. Uh, actually, do you, do you have dreams like night dreams, not daydreams, night dreams when you go to bed? Do you have dreams? Yes, I have dreams. Mrs. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And you think that those dreams that you dream during the night actually happen? Do they come true? No. No, no. they don't? No, nothing comes true, Mrs. No. Natasha. Yes, they are only dreaming that not will become reality. Okay. So it's not going to happen. We're just dreaming about it, but nothing actually happens. Yeah. Maybe yeah. someone can dreaming, but it will come reality. Okay. Someone, maybe. Yeah, all right. Makes sense. Okay. How about the rest of you guys? What do you think? I think that there's no real dreams can be real, Mrs. Natasha, actually. Okay. Why do sometimes you... uh, might be real and sometimes and many times it will be dream will be dream. Okay, good. I agree. Good. Okay. Uh is it good to dream, Amber? Is it good to dream to have dreams? Maybe yes. Maybe yes. Why do you think maybe yes? Sometimes it can make you happy. Sometimes it can make you happy. Okay. How can that make you happy? You think of it again. 
Uh, why do you think sometimes we think it's going to make us happy? Because it's something that's not reality. Okay, something that's not reality makes sense. All right, good. Okay, how about the next one? Can you daydream, Phoebe? Yes. Yes, how? How would you daydream? How would you daydream? Uh... When I feel boring. Okay, when you feel boring, what do you do? Uh, when you're bored? I don't know, but when I realize that I'm daydream, uh, I've already... <laughs> okay, well, that's good. Does it make you happy? No. It doesn't make you happy. Yeah, and I will feel uh, more bored. All right, it actually makes you more bored. Okay, interesting. Okay, how about this question? Should we share our goals? If there is something that we want to achieve, should we share it with someone or we shouldn't? Share. You say to share it. Why do you say we need to share it? Share to God. Share to God. How would you do that? Praise to God. Okay, good. So that our goals maybe can be reality. Okay, good. That we can be. Would that help us? Uh, I think no. No, it's not going to help us. So why are we going to do it if it doesn't help us? That's okay, sweetie. It's just, you're just sharing your opinion. Still thinking. Still thinking. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Amber? Should we share our goals with somebody else? Yes. Yes? Why? Maybe they can help us to achieve them. Ah, so you think that other people can help us to achieve our goals? Like just okay. helping? Okay, good. All right. Um, Devin, what do you think? Yes. What do you think? Should we share our goals with somebody else? Yes. Yes, why? How do we share our goals with somebody else? Yes, because maybe they can they can make our goals be reality. Okay. Okay. Anybody else wants to share something else? No, Mrs. Natasha. No? All right. Okay, so I want to share with you a video that is called, uh, just one second, guys. The video is called, Keep Your Goals to Yourself. And it's about three minutes and 45 seconds. Now, in this video, a person, his name is Derek Stevers, he actually is talking about goals. And he's talking should we actually share it with someone or we shouldn't? Now, what I would like you to do is 
watch the video. I'm not going to stop the video and try to memorize why does he say that we shouldn't share our goals with anyone else. And after that, we're just going to speak about it, okay? Okay, right. Mrs. Natasha. Okay, thank you, sweetie. Let's watch it. Hold on. I'm changing it. Everyone, please think of your biggest personal goal. Okay, for real. You can take a second. You got to feel this to learn it. Take a few seconds and think of your personal biggest goal. Okay? Imagine deciding right now that you're going to do it. Imagine telling someone that you meet today what you're going to do. Imagine their congratulations and their high image of you. Doesn't it feel good to say it out loud? Don't you uh, feel one step closer already, like it's already becoming part of your identity? Uh, Is it well, too fast, or do you want me to make the speed slower? Or is it okay? It's okay, Mrs. Natasha. Okay, thank you. You should have kept your mouth shut, because that good feeling now will make you less likely to do it. The repeated psychology tests have proven that telling someone your goal makes it less likely to happen. Anytime you have a goal, there are some steps that need to be done, some work that needs to be done in order to achieve it. Ideally, you would not be satisfied until you'd actually done the work. But when you tell someone your goal and they acknowledge it, psychologists have found that it's called a social reality. The mind is kind of tricked into feeling that it's already done. And then because you've felt that satisfaction, you're less motivated to do the actual hard work necessary. So this goes against the conventional wisdom that we should tell our friends our goals, right? So they hold it to it, hold us to it, yeah. So um, let's look at the proof. 1926, Kurt Lewin, founder of social psychology, called this substitution. 1933, Vera Mahler found when it was acknowledged by others, it felt real in the mind. 1982, Peter Gawlitzer wrote a whole book about this, and in 2009, he did some uh, new tests that were published. It goes like this. 163 people across four separate tests. Everyone wrote down their personal goal. Then half of them announced their commitment to this goal to the room, and half didn't. And then everyone was given 45 minutes of work that would directly lead them towards their goal, but they were told that they could stop at any time. Now, those who kept their mouth shut worked the entire 45 minutes on average, and when asked afterwards, said that they felt that they had a long way to go still to achieve their goal. But those who had announced it quit after only 33 minutes on average, and when asked afterwards, said that they felt much closer to achieving their goal. So, if this is true, what can we do? Well, you could resist the temptation to announce your goal. You can delay the gratification that the social acknowledgement brings. And you can understand that your mind mistakes the talking for the doing. But if you do need to talk about something, you could state it in a way that gives you no satisfaction. <laughs> Such as, I really want to run this marathon, so I need to train five times a week and kick my ass if I don't, okay? So audience, next time you're tempted to tell someone your goal, what will you say? Exactly, well done. <laughs> So, what did he say? So, Mrs. Natasha, he say, if we have a goal, do not tell anyone. We must, we must, we must do it. We must reach the goal. We must work harder for that. Okay, why shouldn't we share? What did he say? Why did he say that we shouldn't share with anyone else? Hmm? Amber, what do you think? Um, it's likely to not be reality. Right, Katie, what did you say? It's likely to not be reality. Okay. Gavin, what do you think? Uh, 
No idea. You have no idea. Bishma, what do you think? I also think that we should not like um tell others like about no goal. You know, sometimes it is okay, but sometimes when you tell you might congratulate you and all that. And then it might get you in the head and then you might forget to do it entirely. Okay. So basically this guy says in the video that when you share something with someone, most likely you're losing the interest of doing that thing. For example, people that want to, um, let's start very slowly. People that want to, for example, lose weight and they're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna be on this diet. I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna exercise. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And they say to the other person, and the other person says, yeah, good for you, go for it, right? And then the first person that wants to actually do that, they say, yeah, I'm not doing that. So basically they're losing the interest or you want to do something. You are, you are let's say, imagine you're planning a trip and you want to go somewhere and you say, yeah, I'm going to go to Japan. I'm going to see this and that and this and that. You go there. You see nothing because maybe you just don't feel like you want to go. <laughs> so what do you think about that? Do you think it makes sense or no? You don't think nothing, no? No opinion, guys? You don't think anything? You're done? <laughs> Still thinking. Still thinking, okay. Let me know what you're going to think about it. Let me no idea. Still no idea. Sorry, teacher. Okay, no problem, guys. Uh, I have a task for you, and the task is not that short. Actually, but it's not that long as well. But there's some readings that you need to do. Now, would you like to have a break now? And once you're back, we the task or do you want to start the task once we finish have the break because it's quite big let me share with you so it's not very short it looks like this so in the first exercise you have the verbs you have to just put them using going to he's going to miss the flight in the second one you just need to use vocabulary some words that possibly they fit over here Exercise C, you need to read the text and then you have to tell me if it's true or false. And then you have a small listening task. So what do you prefer? Do you want to have a break now? Or do you want to start the task? It's up to you. I want to start the task. Okay, do we agree guys? You want to start the task? Yes. Yeah? Okay, let me share the link with you. Yes. Mike, give me a second. Dun, ta, dun, dun. One second, guys. I just need to log in my account. All right, so I'm customing the link because I want to see your scores. Speaking, practice, and see. All right, so guys, be very careful with the grammar tense, okay? It, it's actually very easy. Okay, Mrs. Natasha. All right, guys, thank you. So I send you the link in the chat box. You can start it right away. And I'm okay. just going to use my microphone. I will be here in case you need my help. But 
as I said previously, focus on the question okay. in the text. Going to, okay? You have to use going to in the first exercise, okay? So let me repeat one more time before you actually start asking me questions. Just one second, let me share my screen again. This Zoom is going crazy today. So in the first exercise, I'm gonna mute all of you because I can hear noise coming from Roderick. So in the first exercise, you are having going to and the verbs in the bracket. So that means you need to say, he is going to miss the flight, okay? So you're using going to and also you are using the verb in the bracket. In the second part, you need to read the text and put just one or two words in one sentence. For example, last summer, I flew to New York City with my husband to visit some friends. The flight left from, let's say, from London, let's say, and then you're going to continue. So it's actually only one word that it's missing. Now, over here, you can see there is a letter D. That means the word needs to start with D. If you don't know what the word is, just keep going. Go to the next one. Mrs. Once Natasha. you read the text, one second, guys. One second. First, I need to explain. Then you're going to ask me questions, okay? So when you read the text, then you have true or false. You have six questions. Six sentences, you're just going to mark them as true or false. After that, you need to listen to a conversation and you need to match the speakers. Let's say if dialogue, if, uh, dialogue one is uh, immigration, you're going to put immigration. You're going to see that you're going to listen to the conversation. And then in the last exercise, you need to answer the questions from the audio. Now, what's the question? Teacher, the link is not working. The link is not working. What is not working? Yep, the link is not working. If you do not believe me, um, go and tap the link yourself. Pity, I'm so sorry, but I can't understand what you're saying. Teach, uh, teacher, the link is not working. The worksheet is but not working. But my link is working. Okay, if the link doesn't work, change the browser. So it's probably the browser that it's stopping you to open the link. So if you're using Mozilla, open Google Chrome or the other way around. So you need to have two browsers on your computer. Now work. Thank you, you see. <laughs> so I'm just muting my microphone, okay? Because the ambulance is passing by, but I'm here if you need me. Mrs. Natasha? Yes? I don't understand the fourth question, Natasha, uh, Mrs. Natasha. Sorry, the fifth question. Where is that question? Which exercise? Uh, exercise A, fifth question. So I just wrote it over here. You don't see it on my screen? I can see your screen, Mrs. Natasha. So do you see what I wrote over here? What, Mrs. Natasha? Yeah. Yes, I can see. I can see. I can see the screen, Mrs. Natasha. So you have to use going to plus the verb. Okay. So in 
sentence, you must put going to, and then you use the correct verb next to each sentence and make it a good sentence. Yeah? Does that make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Awesome, cool. Teacher, I don't understand um, exercise B. Can you please help me for a while? Yes, yeah, sweetie, you have to put words. You have to see what word matches over there. There's just one word that you have to put in. Mrs. Natasha? Yes? In exercise A, question number A, the first one, I don't understand, Mrs. Natasha. I don't understand what question, what exercise? Exercise A, exercise A, question number A. Okay, so you have to make a sentence over here using going to and rent. Yes, but I don't know. Yes. Okay, guys, hold on a second, guys. If everyone is speaking at the same time, I'm really sorry, but I can't hear you. So you have to go one by one, okay? Anishwar, can you please tell me what sentence? Is it sentence eight? Yes, sentence eight. Okay, what's wrong with this one? The first one, I don't understand. The first, the. Okay, so this should be a question sentence and I think they didn't just put the question mark at the end. So this should be a question sentence. Okay, this is Natasha. Yes, Roderick? Do you wanna ask me something?
So again, in the first exercise, you need to use going to. Be very careful with that, okay? In exercise B, you already have the first letter that will help you to decide which word to put. In the third exercise or exercise C, you need to read the text and then you have to click if the sentences are true or false. In exercise B, you need to listen to five conversations and decide if they are rivals, baggage claim, check-in, customs, or immigration. And then in the last exercise, you need to answer the questions. Yo, yo, sweetie, you, you didn't finish the test. Look, it's all empty. Can you please try and do the first exercise? Yo, yo. Oh, yes. Are you going to do the test again? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you.
Is this hard, guys, for you? Is it difficult? Kind of difficult. It's too hard for me. I don't even know half the things that are in the airport. I'm reading to do. Apart from that, it's not very hard, guys. Come on. Okay, Mrs. Natasha. <laughs> Okay. okay, I can see that you sent me, uh, some of you sent me the answer. So far, Devin's uh, task is the best. And uh, guys, you're not reading the description that I already mentioned. Uh, for example, Bilschmar, look, the first exercise, I repeat guys so many times, you need to use going to in the sentence. You don't follow the instructions. Why do you have did over here? Why do you have did over here? What is this? 
Whoops. Sorry. It's over here in Bushman, over here, you have the first letter. So the word starts with P. The word starts with S. The word starts with S. The word starts with A. So you have the first letter. You needed to follow that as well. Okay, and this one, something is correct, something is not. Yo-Yo is done also. Okay, this is good. How is she going to the airport? How is she going? How is she getting? Not going, sweetie, getting. They are going to be late. That's fine, even though it says incorrect. Are we going to rent a car? Okay, that's good. Over here, you missed everything. This one is good. And this one, you didn't wrote it down. All right, just gonna wait for everyone to finish and then I'm gonna give you a break, guys. Okay, I got Amber's next one. Let's check out what she did. Uh, he's not going to sleep, that's good. They are going to be late, that's also good. These are all correct, Amber. Uh, it's just the system uh, wanted you to write them uh, with an abbreviation with the short version, that's okay. That's good. Are we going to run? That's good, that's good, that's all good. Uh, from Malaysia, so my brother dropped us outside the building. We went inside. Okay, this is also good, but potentially we could put something like from the airport, for example, or the terminal, but it, this is also good. Looked at the elevator to take us upstairs to departures, that's good. Uh, there was a long line at passport clearance. Okay, that's all good. All right, no mistakes there. It's just the system, that's all good, okay. And what did the man eat on the plane? You said sandwich. Mm. Sandwich is okay, sweetie. You just needed to put a sandwich. <laughs> and also the color. So guys, remember we have American English and British English. One is gray with an E and the other one is with an A. So in this one, I think it should be with A. That's why. Apart from that, Amber's test has all the correct answers. Well done. Perfect. Ignore the 7.9, Amber. It's actually 10. It's just the system wanted you to write the abbreviation, the short version, and that's okay. Not to worry about it. Okay, so I got Amber, Yo-Yo, Pishmir, Roderick, Devin. Uh, Phoebe, are you doing it? 
Yes. Yes. All right. Do you have a lot of time to finish it? Uh, now I'm doing the part B. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, it's been quite some time now, and I want to give you a break. So if you please, you can turn off your microphones and your cameras, have a break for about five to seven minutes, be back, and we're going to continue, okay? Because you choose to do the task first before the, uh, the break. But that's fine. Take your break now. Get some water. I got my lemon water over here. I need to drink it a bit. And I'll see you in a couple of minutes, okay? Okay, Mrs. Natasha. Cool, see you in a second. Thank you. Thank you. Natasha. Yeah. I'm waiting for you to turn on your camera so I can see you. All right, cool. All right, everyone's camera is here. Okay, so I received your answers. That's good. Thank you very much for that. Now, we're going to do a speaking practice now. Only this time, you're going to speak. I'm doing nothing because it's your job to speak, right? But we already have, I actually have the words prepared. And in this uh, words, you actually need to create a story. Now, this is a good speaking practice for us because you can tell whatever you want to. It is your story. But in this story, you need to include words like bike, plastic bag, planet, beach, girl, policeman, science, and dream. So... I'm going to give you like a minute or so to just think about what kind of story would you tell. We're not going to write the story, but each one of you needs to prepare their own story for about two minutes, maybe two to three minutes. It's up to you. So I can give you an idea. Um, for example, one day a boy took his bike and he went to the beach. He found a lot of plastic bags at the beach, but there was one girl who was crying on the side. The boy asked her why is she crying. She said that she is so disappointed that she can see a lot of plastic bags all around the beach. Then policemen came and he asked the girl, why is she crying? And the girl said that she was crying because people were so mean and throwing the garbage all around the beach. The policeman said to her that everyone has a dream to achieve their goals. So if the girl has a dream or a goal to help the planet, she can do that. So the girl and the boy decided to clean the beach from the plastic bags. The girl promised the boy that one day she will be a big scientist and she will find a way how people will start using recycling plastic bags. It's just a short story. I just invented it. I, I haven't <laughs> I haven't prepared it. I haven't read them. So now I just give you an idea. You can use these words. You can add up your own words, okay? But you just have to create a story. So I will give you like a minute or so just to think about what you want to say. Once you're ready with your thinking, with your notes in your head, just give me a reaction. Sorry, I have a hiccup. Give me a reaction, <laughs> and then we're going to go from there. So you can use these words and you can add up your own. It's up to you. You decide what you want to do.
Teacher, can I try? Are you ready? Well, maybe. Okay, let me give it a try. Okay, let's go. A girl was just, or just on her bike, cycling away. When she heard a girl crying, she went to the beach and saw a lot of trash and plastic bags littered everywhere, and a girl right in the middle of them. The girl said that she was very sad that all the beach is polluted because she always came here. And then both of them, then the girl decided that they can clean up the beach. And then both of them cleaned up the beach. And then the girl promised that she would be a scientist to find ways to destroy pollution. That's the end. Okay, cool. That was very short, but that was okay. <laughs> All right. So we got the first one. Who wants to go next? It's me. Roderick, yes. Let's go. Oh, sorry. Janishra, you want to go next? Yes, I just want to try. Okay, let's give it a go. So one day, one, uh, one day, a girl uh, I had a dream that a poor uh, a girl dream that a policeman took uh, take Yeah. Um take a bike and you know what happened next? And then she took, and then she, and then the policeman took uh, another planet. That's all. That's all. Okay, thank you. Roderick, do you want to try? Yes. Go ahead. One day, a girl sailing her bike in the park. Suddenly, she saw a lot of plastic bag. In so she decided to pick up the plastic bag and throw to another planet. Uh, what? That's all. That's all? But you didn't finish it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right, Amber, do you want to go next? A policeman decided to take his bike to the beach. When he arrived, he was shocked to see so many plastic bags on the beach. After a while, he saw a little girl crying. He asked the girl why she was crying. She said that humans are so mean to the planet. So they decided to clean up the beach together. The little girl said that she would invent something when she grow up to prevent the earth from being polluted. All right, cool. Awesome, that was very good, Amber. Very well, thank you. Um, Devin, do you want to go next? I'm not finished yet. You're not finished yet. Okay. Uh, Phoebe, do you want to go next? 
Uh, oh, oh, this I, I need to write. No, you don't have to write it. You, you can just say it. Okay. Uh, seven. Do you want to say it, sweetie? Yo, yo, do you want to go next? Uh, no. No, why not? Okay. Uh, Try it. Uh, one day, I ride a bike, go to the beach. Okay. Mm. Then I, I see a girl. I ask her. What's your dream? He say, he say, uh, he say what? You say he to be a crazy man. He said what, sweetie? Uh, she wants to be a crazy man. Okay. No. All right. Uh, Devin, are you ready? Almost. Almost. Phoebe? Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, yesterday, I go to a park, which is near my house. Exactly. Yes, then I saw many plastic bags through many plastic bags on the road. Okay. Um, suddenly, a girl went out. She said, why can people throw rubbish on the road? And she said when she grow up, she want to... Phoebe, that's all? Um, yes. That's all, Phoebe? I don't know what to say. Okay, that's okay, sweetie, not to worry, that's fine. Okay, Devin, do you wanna try? Yes. Go ahead. One day a policeman was going to the beach with his bike, then he saw a lot of plastic bags at the beach. After that, he also saw a little girl picking up plastic bags. So he went to help the girl pick up the leftover plastic bag. After picking all the rubbish they can find, the policeman asked the girl what is her dream job. She said she wants to be a scientist in the future and make a machine that can help 
to pick up plastic bags and also save the planet. Bravo, well done, perfect. So guys, you can do this on your own as well at home. You can uh, kind of practice this because this is a good practice. When you just find a couple of words and you wanna create a story, what, what are you actually building over here? You're improving your speaking skills and this is something that we wanna work on. You can also, what you can do is you can describe a picture any picture for that matter, just have the picture and describe it. And that is really going to help you a lot. Okay, we still have some roughly 17, 18 minutes to finish. So in the next part, I want you to think about an invention that has been invented and that you find it very, very good that you cannot live without, okay? And then the other student must disagree with you. For example, if let's say I have Amber and Amber says, the best invention in the world are the mobile phones. And then let's say Devin says, I disagree. I think mobiles are not a good um, invention. Actually, I think that computers are much, much better option. So you get the track, right? <laughs> so this is something that we're gonna practice now because we still have like 15, 17 minutes to finish the class. Let's use them wisely and talk about inventions. So the first pair will be, uh, will be Amber and, Amber and uh, Jennifer. So Amber, you choose, uh, you start first, you choose an invention that you think is the best thing ever happened. Okay. I think the best invention is, I think the best invention is uh, phone, Mrs. Natasha. You're talking to Amber. <laughs> she needs to disagree with you and she needs to find something else. Yes, I think phones are better. Phones, uh, without phone, there will be no, no communication and no like details be you no. Know, Um, I personally think computers are better because you can watch films like in bigger screens. I think it is we can, we can I think we can communicate by by the phone. You cannot communicate in the laptop actually. You can. There is WhatsApp too in computers. Yep. What else? What else? That's it, Jennifer. You disappeared. No, I'm not disappeared. What happened? I just freak out and I don't know uh, what did I, what I must say next. What I must say next. Okay, so you're saying that uh, uh, phones are the best invention. I have to justify them. You, you need to say why. What can you do on your phone? And Ember needs to say, for example, why she thinks that computers are a better option. Yep. So keep going. Tell us why do you think that mobiles are a good option? What do you think? We can easily get communicate with other people. Okay. And, and we can call in case in emergency situation, we can call in like the ambulance in court ambulance, police, or something like that. Okay. Um, but I think using computers, you can be easier like working. You can work with computer, but it's harder to work on phone. 
Mm -hmm. And actually, phone the they can be see social media very easily. Okay, but computers can do that too. And in uh, in mobile phone, we can use it for education also. We can create a Google Meet very easily in in phone. Google Meet or Zoom like that. Zoom meeting like that. If you want to make a meeting in online or something like that, we can make it on phone very easily. But computers can also do that. But computer is very hard to make and meet. I think like it's a bigger screen and it's easier to Control. Cool. And it and it good for people safety in case we can call for emergency. Uh, we can call for an emergency. Mm -hmm. We can call in the police, doctor, or something like that. Okay. If you are in health issues, we can call. We can we can call in on phone on mobile phones. It will be very easily much better. Will be much easier. Okay, cool. What else? Or that's all. Yep, that's all. That's all. Okay, perfect, guys. Thank you very much. Let's choose Phoebe and Phoebe and. Um, Devin, who wants to start first? I want to start first. Yeah, go ahead, sweetie. Okay. I think electric car is the best invention. Electric cars, really. he says electric car are the best invention. What do you think about it? I don't think so. You don't think so? Why not? Because it needs a lot of electrics. Where's electrics? Okay, cool. It takes a lot of power. Yeah. Oh. It is very expensive, the car. Exactly. That's also very important. And the car which is used all years is also very good. It can save electricity and save money. All right. Come on, Gavin, it's your turn. We're waiting and you're keeping quiet. 
You have to say something. Two. Seven. Uh, you can save a lot of money. And you can charge it at home. Okay, Devin, come and sweetie, keep to, keep saying, because you need to say something because she needs to reply to you. Do you say something? What, sweetie? That's not, I think my internet is not good. I didn't hear that she said anything. I'm sorry, sweetie, but I couldn't hear that. Did he just now say anything? I think my internet is not. Okay, that's why we're saying him to repeat. Come on, Devin, you need to repeat what you said because she didn't hear that. You can save a lot of money. And he can help you park and you can watch some movies. The normal car also can. Okay, guys, I must be honest with you, that wasn't very good, both of you, Phoebe and Devin. So Amber and Jennifer, they smashed it. But guys, you, you, why are you shy? You don't have to be shy, guys. You're here to speak. So even if you make a mistake, I'm not to worry. Say. Yes, sweetie, but I'm saying in general, in general, you have to speak up more because if you don't express yourself, I can't hear what's wrong. But if you just say yes, no, I don't know if you know or you don't know. That's why you need to speak uh, more. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for that. At least you did it. Hey, at least you did it. Let's choose somebody else. <laughs> Let's choose. Can I? And um, Roderick. Okay. Yes. Let's go, guys. Bishmir and Roderick. Go. Oh, sorry. I didn't actually hear you. Um, That's okay. Both are and commune are very good because both he can actually communicate, play games, hang out with your friends. Uh, sorry, teacher, you, my internet is not really good. In computers and uh, phones. Roderick, can you hear him? Not really, ma. I cannot listen. You cannot hear him. Phones yes. and computers are very, very good because they can be used as communicators, like they can be used like for communicating and even hanging out with new people on the internet. And we can even spend some time and talk some time while playing some games. So the computer and phone are very handy in passing time and doing work. Uh, oh, I cannot listen. Robert, are you okay? Well, teacher, can you hear me? Okay, guys, um, I must say something to all of you. So you need to, guys, you need to repair your uh, connection. If you have a problem with your Wi-Fi, please, either you put a cable in your computer, okay, 
you must use either a cable or you need to sit very close to the router where it is because if we cannot hear each other we really cannot make a good conversation okay so that's a must and if you can see i actually have let me show you look i got my microphone over here under my chin so you can hear me very good now i don't have problems when i need to hear amber amber sound is perfect Devin is here and there, sometimes is good, sometimes is not. But Roderick, Jennifer, Phoebe, Bishmer, guys, I can hardly hear you. That's a problem. So if you have a headset, headphone, a microphone, please try to use it during the class. It's only for two hours, so you'll be fine, okay? okay I'll, Natasha, I'll try my best. I will try like that, my Mrs. Natasha. Yes, good. So for the next class, well, next week, we're not going to have a class because it's the fifth week. But after that, guys, it's just going to be for two hours. So if you have like me or you have a headset like headphones, use them just during the class. OK, I know it's not good for the ears, but it will be a better communication because this way you say something. I say, what? Then somebody else says, I don't hear him. So we need to make sure that we're gonna hear each other quite well. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Yes, it yeah. makes sense. Sure. Perfect, good. Okay. Yes, I can speak very well, have... but sometimes, um, sometimes I, I don't know why, my sounds become very... So Phoebe, sometimes it's the network, but if it's the network, then in that case, you can stop your video, but you have to check with us. You need to tell us that your connection is not stable, so you can turn off your camera, okay? For me, I have a cable, put it in my computer to have a better connection, so that's why my connection is, is good. So I have, I have the microphone as well. Well, guys, this is just because we want to make sure whatever you are saying, it's actually correct. But if I cannot hear you, I don't know what you said. I'm just going to say, yeah, okay. But I need to hear your mistakes or do you improve them? Do you think that's correct? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Do you have any questions, guys? No, Mrs. Natasha. No? No, teacher. I didn't have any questions. Okay. Not sure. Awesome. Cool, guys. In that case, thank you very much for today. We're not going to be seeing next week, but we're going to see ourselves the week after on the 5th of November. All right? Okay. Okay. So, yes. Thank you for today. Class. Bye. Thank you, Mrs. Okay. See you, guys. Thank you, Amber. Bye, guys.